Good evening, this is Tina. Uh, in this video, I'm going to briefly introdu introduce transaction and atomic operation. In real application, it's going to be more complicated than I explained here, okay? Uh, I just want to give some general ideas. What are they about? Okay. So in our last video, we give some demo, uh, give some uh, example using the posts. But uh, in this, this is not a good example to explain transaction and uh, uh, atomic operation. I will give you another one. Um, how about using the place and order? Okay, so for an uh, so for a user has the order. Okay, how to do that? First one, if we are using join, okay, then we will create multiple table or collection like this. Uh, suppose this is in the SQL. Okay, using join table. The first one we will have a user. Okay, the user gonna have ID. And gonna have a username, and gonna have the uh, password. Others gonna have a points, okay, and gonna have a charge, okay. So balance. How about the balance here? Points, okay, okay. And then uh, the user has a order history, right? So for an order history, we will have one table which is order. And the order we are gonna have ID, and also it will have a user ID, which means uh, uh, this order belongs to which user, right? Uh, an order might have a total price. An order will have a total price for the current order. And the order will have others, which is uh, uh, the items in the order, okay? But we can store all the items here because uh, uh, one order might have multiple items. So for doing that, we might have another table, which is for all the item, okay? <coughs> And then we are gonna have ID for this old item. Then we're gonna have a product ID, which is which product it actually purchased. So here we can have a now table, which is a product. And product will have like ID, uh, title, price, right? Um, so once we have product ID, uh, then we will oh, we might also have a price here because uh, because when we purchase a product and uh, after it's gonna be one price but after we uh, after we place the seller might change the price so the price in the order might be different price different from the price in the product right so this is uh, oh sorry this is why I have a product uh, price here. It's it's doesn't matter, okay? And you're gonna have a quantity, which is how many uh, product you purchased for this item, and it might have uh, it might must have an order ID here, which means this order item belongs to this uh, order, right? This order ID. You can also have a total price for here also. So here we have uh, four tables for uh, display the user's order. And now if I want to place an order, if a user trying to place an order, for place an order, uh, take a look at how many tables you want to insert. Suppose for this case, uh, when we place order, we have to uh, insert. First, we have to insert a uh, row, right? Records, row or record uh, in all the item, right? All the item, this one, which means insert a new when you press. And then we also need to insert a row or record in all the table, right? 
and then we also need to suppose the user is uh, uh, is pay using his balance and also every time you purchase something you can increase these uh, points then you also need to update update uh, user table uh, about the points and uh, the uh, balance so when we have one feature this is uh, one action this one action will resolve three actions inside the three tables so the problem is is uh, all these three operations it belongs to three tables by default we cannot guarantee they are all fail or all success right probably when you insert it here it is success but when you insert it to order it failed and insert it to the users it failed and this is not acceptable because all the operations in this three table must to be all success or all fairly right and uh, for this case we need to keep them in one transaction one transaction this is the transaction talking about one transaction we have to make sure if they all success that's fine or if they fail all fail is fine it cannot be like this one success this one fail this one success then your data is not consistent right and this is not good when we using the join table so this is what we designed in the sql database for this kind of operations we have to make sure they are uh, in one transaction okay and uh, with the sql database you have other choice uh, no sql sorry in no sql we have other choice because we can embed our document right so we can design our application uh, design our de collection like this we only has one user table and in the user table you're gonna have id and you're gonna have a username okay it's gonna have a username and it's gonna also have what uh, what others we have here a uh, points it will also have a balance and uh, for the user we can keep the his or uh, uh, her history to be embedded here i can have an order embedded in the user and it's gonna be an array okay and in the each order in each order i'm gonna have an id okay this is represent the order id and i'm gonna have uh i items okay or called the order item order item or items okay because you can purchase many of old items it is also gonna be an array okay in the old item it's gonna have id particular old item and gonna have a product id okay and also gonna have a quantity what others quantity a uh, price suppose you want to keep the price you can use in a price okay this is the structure of the old item okay and uh, previously here we have an old id here right in the old item do we need here do we need in this case no need because the id is here belongs to this order right then we also can continue for the order we are gonna have a total price and uh, this is uh, for the order <coughs> and um, now if we want to place an order uh, place an order previously we have to change a three table right we have to change three table now how many places you need to change yet yeah, you only change in one collection right one collection which is the user collection here so when a place order we have to add uh old item you just operate on this one add insert a document in this array all the items right and then you uh sorry actually not 
place on order. We just need to create create new create a new object which is this part contains the old item total price and then push into the end into this orders array right and then we also need to change the points we just change it here and we also change patterns we just change here previously we have to change it in three tables now we only change it in one collection and when uh, What's the operation we're gonna use? We just need to using the update operation, right? And here we just find the ID, find the particular user, right? ID is one, and we give our what kind of things you want to set, okay? All the things, right? So this operation is a one operation, and most of the operations in MongoDB is atomic. Because we only has one operation, how it if it fail, the entire operation doesn't work. If it is success, all the things we set here gonna be success, right? So with uh, with this change, we are no longer needed to using uh, the transaction, the one transaction to keep them all success or all fail. Because our operation by default is uh, atomic. Got it? So when we do when we design in uh, NoSQL database, we are trying to using as less collection as possible. And if you design something like uh, like this way, like this way using lots of tables, you probably can restructure your collection or restructure your data model design to have less collection as possible. Okay, and uh, if you still have uh, uh, like uh, uh, multiple operations and if you want to use a join, you can have other choice like uh, two-phase commit. Okay, and if you want to use a join, you can also do, uh, there's one operation called lookup, this one. Dollar sign, oh, yeah. probably you cannot see from this called, uh, let me draw here dollar sign lookup it can use to join uh, multiple tables okay so this is just a very simple example talking about transaction and atomic operation and uh, I'm done okay thank you for watching and see you next time bye bye